We'll just have a, a wet while we uh, get that open. Portable bandsaw. Here we go. Blades. There's two blades there. I don't know if they're both steel or it's just steel. I think they are. Uh, yeah, the, the steel blades then. So you get two blades. Right, so this is a bandsaw, which is, uh, yeah, got, all right, so what we got then, let's have a look. Fourteen teeth per inch. So the blade tells you what it is there. M42, so it's a 13mm blade, so it's 13mm in width, it's 0.65mm, that's its thickness, and 10, 10, 14T, well 14T is 14T per inch, 10, I don't know if it's a skip blade and every 10th tooth it, because other way, I'm not sure on that, Check up on that, but so you get there's two blades there, so we've got two blades with it. <laughs> well, put these on eBay. I've now got two travel adapters, so that's for your European plug again. So, we've got a black and then a white, and gotta be politically correct, aren't you? So, portable band saw. So that's the instructions. Yeah, this, this is it. You know, the, you, you get different makes of these, obviously. The big industrial Makitas, <coughs> they don't come with a, with a stand. Because these, you just, you can take off this stand and you can just hold it and you can cut a long steel or you cut wood with it as well, you can put different blades in them, get different blades made up, you know. So they would cut wood and steel or plastic, whatever, really. So we've got some instructions with it. But, uh, you know, 240 volts, if you're outside with it, you've got to make sure you've got a RCD chip, otherwise you're going to get your centre electrocuted, aren't you? So that's that anyway. So you've got a, a standard British plug on it, which again I'll take off and put a, the blue 16 amp one on. Right, so you've got a vise. That's a locking. For the angles, you can cut different angles with it. You've got a locking lever there. Well, that probably up to 45, isn't it? Oh, there's some scale on there. There's a scale on there from 0 to 45 degrees. So square it back up there, you're on a square cut on zero. What we got? Some. Uh, Allen keys there because this here 
Right, I say you can take it off, so we'll just have a look. Right, so it looks like there's three screws on it. So, e easy to take off. It's detached from the stand. You have to unlock that way now and key. Bigger one. Well, they put different size Allen keys. Allen bolt. So that's your handle now. <coughs> so you've now got a handheld bandsaw. Like that. Yeah, you could do the could do the Yorkshire bandsaw massacre. A bit different from Texas one, because I ain't got a chainsaw, I'll do it with a bandsaw. Right, I'll just have a look at these instructions. Oh my god. Yeah, so you do get some instructions with it. So obviously you've got to put a blade on it. It tells you everything in here. All sorts of stuff like don't stand on your head while you're using it and uh, don't go in a swimming pool if you're using it. Stuff like that. But you don't tell you how to put blade on. Which is a sort of the basic uh, requirement. Right, to work that out, I have to take it on and off the stand. <laughs> Just the the handle, we've done that. To, so I have to secure the workpiece into the clamp and some symbols on the back, but nothing about putting a blade on. So we'll see if we can figure it out and fire it up. <coughs> Health and safety, as I get told. You've not got your mask on, you've not got this on, put your gloves on. Ah. So you have to, it's not just clips, it doesn't tell you how to get these guards off. It's, I think it's self-explanatory really. That must be a tensioner here. Tighten loose, that tensions your blade. Looks like there's just two screws to undo, one on each side. And then it's just in some clips I think. Ah, oh, that's it, easy peasy. Right. So we'll take a blade. So they go in. Right. If you can see there, they go between those rollers. Move my pinkies out of the way. They go between those rollers and at the back of each one there's two thrust bearings. So that's what the blade uh, runs between those two and the thrust bearing 
stops this play going further back into the machine and it runs along it. So that's that. So we just push that down so it's on to the wheels and then this lever tensions it. There's no adjustable tension like on over there, the big bandsaw, where you can uh, turn the wheel and tension your blade to different uh, for, for different size blades and what have you. Because this only takes one size blade, there's only one setting for the tension. So you've got two screws to get this them covers off. So you've got two screws put back on. So. If I get them on right to start with, it'd be better, wouldn't it? Fiddle of that. Oh, it's me there. You've got to slide it over that one. That's it. Now I've got screw stuck. Going up. Right. That's it. I ain't got it clipped over right there. I'm getting the hang of this now. Ooh, it's easy peasy. Screw back in. So you have to drop them on, and then you've got two slides there. Pull it forward. Chop your fingers off on the blade like that. Find the screw you've put down somewhere. Put that in there. That's, well, that makes it a bit easier. It's not lining up that though. Right, it's my fault. I've not got the blade sat down there. The blade was impeding that going going on because it was stuck up. I'm struggling for note there. So it was hitting the inside of that. That's it, straight on when there's no blade in way. So one screw back in. So that's your two screws you've got to check out to change blade. Yeah, uh, right. first time I've done it there, I could see my mistakes now. It works okay. It's just uh, I ain't got blade. In there. That's it then. That's back on now. For my fault. I turned blade around and I shouldn't have done, it was correctly uh, set. So, the, so, well, come in. You can see now the teeth of the blade pointing downhill. So they pull into this, they pull into this guard here. So you can work materials on, on there, like where my pink is, I'll not turn it on. And then uh, so it pulls it into that, the blade continuously pulling in. So we'll, we'll just plug it in and have a look. Right then. So. 
There we are. Just pull it into that uh, back plate there nicely. Locked up. I didn't realise it's variable speed. One, two, three, four, five. You've got six speeds. So we'll put it on low one. Like that. And there's an LED light there. Got some surprises. Oh, on top, another button. Hey, <laughs> let's press that. LED comes on. Does it now? So we've got a light. That's a good bit of kit, that. To, so you can see straight onto the where you cut it on that to point there. I like that. I didn't realise that we're on. And the variable speed. I thought there was just one speed. So that's it in its handheld use. So you, you like that, so it bodies up. So we'll unplug it and put it back on its stand. So and it's upside down. Right, so there's just three. Oh, the big cap fell off. Get the right Allen key. That one. So you've got three screws. That's it, and it's mounted back on there then. So, <laughs> my first attempt to change that, took a bit of time, didn't it? But I'll have to have another practice at that, but I don't intend to be taking it on and off every day. It's just that you can do. So it's a useful tool <coughs> on boat. If you're doing some rework on boat, like some, you've got steel to cut or even timber, cuts timber. Those blades will cut timber, this cutting, for cutting steel, mild steel, but they'll cut timber as well. Or you can purchase uh, just timber blades, you know, um, for skip blade for timber. So that's it back on anyway. Let's have a look at the vice arrangement. So it's a, a fast vice with a split nut. So you don't have to wind it back all the time, just lift that up, pull it back, put your material in, drop the thread back down, tighten up. So the quick release things. So with this then, with this uh, machine, you've got your standard 240 volt UK plug. You get your Euro plug adapter. Yeah. No use to us over here. It's got a light on it. So it shines a beam right onto where you're cutting. And it's variable speed. And you got your vice. Is a quick release vice, flip that up, pull it back, put your material in, squeeze it back up, and tighten it up, and that's what you get. 
So online, if you you can get you, these are uh, wide throw or deep throat band saws because of the depth of there between the blade and the body of the machine, and you can get little ones which sparkies use a lot because they cut conduit with it and uh, when they're running wires around so you can do that with it um, you get the cordless ones the makitas well not just makita milwaukee makitas and, and the dewalts all that lot i looked at the cordless ones I wanted one that's got power to it all the time, not cordless. I don't really need it to be cordless. But the Milwaukee uh, 110 volt versions of these, what are they? Best part of 400 quid or something, 350, 360, 70, something like that. So they're expensive. Now this one, again like that welding set, was from Vivo. Right. There are some others. I don't know if they're the same as the Shepak and Aldi's have been doing one. Or little Aldi's little one of them. And the public same sort of price. So this one delivered was £120. Now you can buy it, just the handheld version, so you don't get this. From the same company Vivo. I think they were £90. Right. So for another 30 quid you get your stand which is a good tool to have. So if you're doing some rework on your boat or something, you know, one of them, save you a lot of time if you've got steel to cut or timber to cut. You've got your bandsaw, just drop it down. And that's it. So it's a good tool to have, useful tool that. Anyway, so they're the two new tools I've got. So that like Christmas day today, toys for the boys and all that. So. That's me unboxing of them. The next part of it is I'll do another one and we'll get them, we'll get them working. We've got some stuff to make. So instead of using big saw in shop, metal saw, I'll use that and we'll be cutting angle iron and what we angle iron flat bar box section to, to cut up. So we'll use that for that and we'll get that welder set up. It will be, well, we use it, I'll, I'll get, put some MIG wire on and we'll use it for TIGging as well, we'll have a go with TIG and with Stinger and we'll just do some MMA. So we'll do all that and we'll try them all out for that and then in a month's time or something when I've been using them for a while, we'll have a look, see if they're still up to it, see what's happening, you know, see there's no point in buying something that doesn't last. I think there's a, a year's warranty on them, um, which is, I don't know what that's worth. You know, you have to send them back, pay for it yourself. So, and tools nowadays, they, they ain't but expensive, are they? That they, they, you get a lot for your money, really. You know, there's a lot of technology in them, these boards and that electrical boards in them or whatever you call them i'm not into all that i don't know i hear these words but i don't really know what they mean so anyway they look decent well-made tools then you know they're not poorly made there's some quality in the manufacture of them right obviously if you're going to pay 600 quid for them and all that then you're going to get a better one but that's great if you're using them day in day out at work if it's something for the DIY and semi-industrial use you know these these should be fine if you're just working on your boats and that they're fine you know they should be anyway but we'll find out won't we anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed that little insight into these and I know it's not exactly to do with boats but I just thought I'd show things that are affordable if you're working on your boats uh, you know, they're readily available. You're not spending thousands like a road mig set in there, you know, it's 10 grand's worth. You know, you're not going to be uh, spending money like that. Plus, you couldn't use it anyway, it's 415 volt. But these little inverters and that, they're good stuff, you know, technology. So, I hope you enjoyed that anyway. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody who has subscribed to the channel. 
and uh, your comments you, you leave. I do enjoy getting comments and I like watching other people's chan channels and uh, comment to them and uh, you get a bit of feedback, a bit of banter going and you know, look at each other's work. So anyway, thank you very much you have subscribed and if you'd like to uh, subscribe and also like or like and subscribe, that'd be great. Gives us a bit of feedback that people are enjoying seeing what I'm doing or trying to do. You know, it's only a bit of fun for, you, for me really and just to show people what you can and can't do. So anyway, that's it for now. Next ones will be welding and will be cutting. So look out for that. All right, thank you very much. Ta-ra.